Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Arizona Coyotes offseason. Now, yesterday we did an offseason overview of Anaheim. It's pretty much going to be the exact same of, of how we did it for Anaheim. And it's going to be the same for all 31 teams that we're going to do. Um, so basically, for Arizona... Uh, they actually didn't make any notable free agent signings this season, which, uh, means quick video today, um, so don't have to edit that much, um, anyway, but basically, they did make only two trades that I thought were notable, except one of them, of course, is the biggest trade in the NHL, guess what? And then you got the Carl Soderberg trade. Uh, but basically, we're going to be going over those two trades. Uh, and, uh, yep, let's get started. So the first trade we have is between Arizona and Pittsburgh, where my favorite player of all time, Phil Kessel, and yes, he actually is. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you would know he is actually my favorite player, uh, is when he got traded from my hometown team, the Penguins, uh, to Arizona, which is so far away, uh, along with defenseman prospect Dane Burks and a 2019 fourth-round pick in exchange for forward Alex Galchenyuk and defenseman prospect Pierre Oliver-Joseph. So first off, reviewing the Kessel deal. So the Kessel deal wasn't exactly a win for Arizona as they traded the best center and the, uh, and the uh, best prospect for one of the best wingers in the game, uh, a prospect who's probably may even not crack the AHL, and uh, a fourth-round pick in 2020. Uh, so, overall... So, overall, it's not really a win for Arizona. Sorry, I had to collect my thoughts there. But overall, it's not really... A win for Arizona. However, Kessel's acquirement is probably one of the biggest deals of the uh, of the off season because of how many like Gochenyuk is awesome. So is Kessel. They're both amazingly skilled. But let's focus on Kessel because you know it's the Arizona Coyotes off season overview. Uh, so Kessel had twenty seven goals and eighty two points. In 82 games last season. So he wasn't terrible for points. I mean, he had a point per game, which obviously is pretty pretty good, uh, but obviously not as good as the season he had last year. Now, Kessel, this was like his one bad season. Kessel had, this was probably his one bad season. I know there was a lot of, like, you know, personal stuff, I guess you could say. But, like, he had, like, issues with the coach and the GM and stuff, so that's why I got traded. And we all know he really wanted to play with uh, Rick Tockett because, you know, he could stand Kessel. Uh, but overall, I think uh, this was probably Arizona's, like, they got the winger that they needed to succeed. They got the player that they needed to succeed. Now, people are saying he's probably only going to put up, like, 50 points, uh, which I agree. I think he'll only put up, like, 50 or 60 points. Uh, it actually depends, though, how good... Now, I'm not saying he's going to be, like, amazing, but depending how good uh, Keller is, I think Keller could fuel him up to, like, 70 points or even 80. Uh, I'm predicting somewhere between 50 to 75 points, somewhere in that range uh, for him next season. But definitely a great impact player. He's one of the most notable wingers in the NHL. He can score... He isn't that good defensively, as we all know. However, he can score, uh, and he's just a good player, in my opinion. I know he was very, very not good on the pens last season. I mean, overall, like, playing-wise. He put up the points, but he just really, he just seemed lazy to me. Like, like, even I have to agree, and he's my favorite player. He just seemed lazy to me, but I think... His mindset's going to change now that he's out of Pittsburgh. And I think he's going to have another strong season. Uh, this is what I feel. And I think uh, he's going to make 
he is going to be an, the main impact player to look at for Arizona next season. Okay, so the second trade I want to talk about is the Carl Soderberg trade. Now, Carl Soderberg got traded from Colorado to Arizona in exchange for defenseman Kevin Connaughton and a 2023rd round pick. Now, Carl Soderberg is likely to be playing on, I would say, a third, fourth line center. That's probably where I would put him. Uh... But overall, uh, I think it's going to be, I would say third line. But he'll definitely be an impact player. He had one of his best seasons last year. Uh, he put up 23 goals, somewhere around 23 goals and 49 points and playing in all 82 games. So that was one of his best seasons since 15-16, I think. Um, yeah, that was. Um, and... Definitely, I think will make a good impact on that fourth line. Uh, I'm guessing around 30, 40 points around that for him again. Um, so he would spend much of the time playing on the third and uh, second, third, and fourth line in Colorado. Um, I think him, the acquirements of him and Kessel, uh, are definitely, uh, definitely things that are needed. Uh, definitely helps them now, and I, th- I think that Arizona, c- I wouldn't say makes the playoffs. I would say more like just barely misses the playoffs. Um, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs this year, but I think they'll like just barely miss it. If anything, they'll be a wild card. But that's all uh, I think I really have for you guys in this video. Uh, we went over the Kessel trade. I mean, Connaughton wasn't the greatest player, uh, the greatest defenseman. So, I mean, that in a third rounder for a 49-point getter is not a terrible trade at all. Um, so, yep. Uh, anyway, I think we went over, I went over everything uh, I needed to say in this video. So, as always, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below for more videos. And uh, what do you guys think the Arizona Coyotes end up? Uh, just give me your comments down below, and I'm I'll probably read them. So anyway, uh, I'm Nick, and I'll see all of you lovely people later. Bye.